Welcome to The Rusted Garden. Today I want to fully explain how to bottom water your seed starts and how to determine when it's time to water your seed starts. A lot of people ask me, how often should you water them? Should you use a humidity dome? Should you water on top of the soil? What's exa what exactly is the best way? This is a method I've been using for oh, probably 10 to 15 years now and it really works well. First off, a humidity dome I don't use. You don't really need it for 99% of the seeds that you're going to be germinating. You can use it, but when you put a dome across the top, it creates humidity and I think it creates a better environment for mold and fungus to grow. All right, so when do you water your seed starts? This is how I do it. If you look, this is cocoa core here. You see how dark this cocoa core is? This is fully watered. I just bottom watered these four uh, cells before we started the video. These two are completely dry. When your seed cells start to dry out, they're going to dry on the top first. The top is going to dry out because of the light uh, creates heat. The top of the soil dries out. So that's good for you because when this dries out and becomes light, it goes from dark to light, that's when you know you need to bottom water. The moisture is going to stay down here so your seeds are going to be okay. Your little uh, seedlings are going to be okay. But the top will start drying out. So as soon as you see the top dry out, that's when you bottom water. Same thing over here. This is a different mix. This is actually this organic mix over here. You can see how dark it is when it's watered and then it, when it's completely dry it gets light. So you're looking for the change in the top of your starting mix to begin to look like how it looks when it's totally dry. Here's some um, plants that I'm already starting. This is chamomile and you can see how dark this is. They look, let's see, do it this way. They look very similar. These don't need to be watered yet. There's plenty of moisture in this, so I wouldn't water that tray yet. Over here is my rosemary, and you can see that it's still dark like this, but parts of it are starting to lighten up. So probably in about two days, I'm going to have to water this. So you're always just looking for the dark color when there's moisture in it to transition over to how your starting medium looks when it's light. And that's how I determine when I need to water my my seed cells. So to bottom water, and again, I bottom water for two reasons. One, it'll save you a lot of time. You'll see how quickly you can do it. And when you water on top, you end up putting a stream of water on here. You can splash out your seeds. You can splash disease and fungus around, and it makes a mess. And it takes a long time to go over this, either pouring it this way, or even with a watering can, then it gets messy. Best way to do it, take out two cells. This table is not flat. You have to do it on a on a level surface, but just fill up the tray just like that until it's about a quarter or a third the way full. You'll get used to how much water you have to put in. And you can see that the water's just sitting in there. And on a level surface, you're going to have about a third of the way at the bottom of the tray filled up. Just pop your trays back in. Let this sit on a leveled surface for 20 to 30 minutes. It will absorb all the water into it. After 20 or 30 minutes, it's really important. You don't want to let your roots sit in water or they rot. So I just pour the excess out into a bucket after 20 or 30 minutes, and it's that simple, really. Now, that was a lot of water, of course. When you get used to doing it this way, you're going to be able to eyeball the amount of water that's needed, and you know that the tray is ready when? Well, when, of course, the light starting mix like this turns dark. That's, that's when you know you've watered your seed starts completely. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to bottom water. Bottom water again will save you time. It'll keep from splashing seeds and disease around. It'll evenly water everything. And when you want to water your plants or when you go to check to see if your plants need watering, just look for the transition from dark color to light color and that's when you know they're going to be ready to be watered. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.